Chapter 241, Sickness, 3 When the pharmacist students returned to the dormitory and saw the three animals coming out of their dorm, the students became startled to the point that their jaws almost dropped. Three of the top students of Holy Roland School just suddenly appeared at the same time in their dormitory. That would have been fine but then the three animals who just left came back again while holding a bunch of foods. This made them completely speechless. Are these three geniuses going to live in their dorms now? Although Shen Yangxia wanted to make the four animals quickly leave, but it was difficult to decline their great hospitality, hence she could only silently accept the hospitality of these four people. Fortunately, even though these four people were usually fooling around, their method of taking care of her was strict enough which made Shen Yangxiao slightly better. On the third day after the illness, Shen Yangxiao finally managed to regain her vigorous and lively self. These past three days, she didn't attend her classes. She, of course, didn't worry about her pharmaceutical and archer classes. The only thing she was worried about was at Yun Shi's side. What would Yun Shi think after these three days of her absence? Shen Yang Xiao immediately made up her mind and went to the Warlock branch that late at night. Just as Shen Yang Xiao's foot stepped outside the dark dormitory, Tang Nazi also sat up straight on his bed. There was a dark expression on his face that made people unable to fathom. He stared at Shen Yang Xiao's empty bed and frowned. Shen Yang Xiao came to the gate of the warlock branch but she hadn't entered yet when she heard Xiu's voice. Be careful, there's someone nearby. Shen Yang Xiao's footsteps immediately stopped as she carefully looked around her surrounding. A well-known and formidable magician is near the vicinity. Although he is trying to reduce his presence but his breath is still there. After his previous mistake, Xu had began to be more careful and always checked the surrounding more cautiously. Although that magician had hidden very well but nevertheless he was still found out in the end. Shen Yang Xiao slightly frowned, why would people hid near the warlock branch's gate? Shen Yang Xiao was at first confused with the situation when suddenly an imposing person came out of the dark. It's Uyang Huan Yu. Shen Yang Xiao secretly clenched her fist. If it wasn't for Xu telling her then she wouldn't be aware of Uyang Huan Yu's presence at all. Why did he appear here again? Shen Yang Xiao had a bad premonition. She didn't know why was that every time Uyang Huan Yu appears, she would feel as if she couldn't get away and then her heart would suddenly put up a guard against him. The Dean of the Holy Roland School was definitely not as simple as it was on the surface. Uyang Huan Yu have a trace of a smile in his face as he stood up in front of the gate of the warlock branch and looked at the hiding place of Shen Yang Xiao. Although he promised Yan Qi that he wouldn't intervene in the affairs of the warlock branch. But he was very curious about the person who's brave enough to face the dangers in going against the firm belief of the Radiance Continent by walking the Warlock's path. In the end, who was this little guy? With his strength, naturally he could feel where that little guy was hiding. He was just waiting for an opportunity to go to that ferocious beast. Step by step, he went to Shen Yang Xiao's hiding place. Shen Yang Xiao's heart beat faster and faster. Her feelings told her that if Uyang Huan Yu found her then things might go bad. The Dean was really dangerous. Seeing Uyang Huan Yu was about to arrive at the very front building where she was hiding, Shen Yang Xiao's heart jumped in her throat. By the time she was ready to flee, a slender hand had suddenly covered her mouth. Chapter 242, Interrogation, 1. Don't make any noise. A slightly lazy voice sounded in Shen Yang Xiao's ears. Warm breath swept across her neck. Shen Yang Xiao was flabbergasted when she saw who the person was, because the moment she turned around, Chi Xia's handsome face was imprinted into her eyes. What was he doing here? Shen Yang Xiao was surprised to see Chi Xia and asked Xu the same question in her mind almost at the same time. I didn't perceive his breath. Xu was equally puzzled by the arrival of Chi Xia. All his attention was indeed focused on Uyang Huan Yu's body. But even so he would never fail to notice someone approaching so closely. While Shen Yang Xiao was being bewildered, Uyang Huan Yu's figure has been approaching step by step. Seeing that Uyang Huan Yu was about to arrive in front of her, Chi Xia held Shen Yang Xiao's tiny hand in his back and then came out directly from the dark. When Uyang Huan Yu saw the two figures of Chi Xia and Shen Yang Xiao, his face obviously showed a trace of surprise. Strange. He was very clear that he only felt a person's breath, 
Why would there be two people? Good evening, Dean. Cheeksia with a fox-like lazy smile greeted Uyang Huan Yu naturally, Uyang Huan Yu thoughtfully stared at the two people at the entrance of the warlock branch, his enigmatic expression made it difficult to know what he was thinking, just as when Uyang Huan Yu was ready to open his mouth, a slight sound of footsteps came from not far away, three tall and slender figures were heading towards their direction, but when the three people saw Uyang Huan Yu standing at the gates of the warlock branch, their brisk footsteps suddenly halted, Uyang Huan Yu slightly frowned as he looked at the three people who were stunned in place. His eyebrows creased up and he became more puzzled. Yan Yu of the priest branch, Yang Zai of the knight branch, Tang Nezi of the pharmaceutical branch, plus the two people before him, Chi Xia of the magician branch and Shen Chu of the pharmaceutical branch, how could these five children appear here? The reason why would Uyang Huan Yu come to the warlock branch was entirely for the student of Yan Qi. He thought that tonight he would finally be able to court that little guy, but now, five people had unexpectedly popped out instead. This was far beyond his expectation. Dean. Tang Nazi blinked his eyes and respectfully gave his regards afterwards. Yan Yu and Yang Zai were also well behaved, but although they're greeting Uyang Huan Yu, their eyes that were full of questions were secretly aimed at Chi Xia and Shen Yang Xiao. What are you guys doing here instead of resting at your dorms? The five little devils before him had completely disrupted his plan, even if Uyang Huan Yu have a good temper, this time he felt a little displeased. Chi Xia replied with a smile. Nothing, we just wanted to sneak into the warlock branch tonight to take a look, but we didn't expect that we will meet the dean here. Sneak into the warlock branch? It wasn't the first time that this kind of thing happened in the warlock branch. Even though the warlocks were greatly oppressed by the others, but such a mysterious and dangerous profession would actually pique the curiosity of the hot-blooded youths. Many Holy Roland School students had tried to sneak into the Warlock branch of the Holy Roland School out of curiosity, but most of them had been found out and sent back by the mentors patrolling at night even before they could appear in the gates of the Warlock branch. Uyang Huan Yu was very silent. He thought he had caught the little Warlock. But instead, he unexpectedly caught the five students who incredibly wanted to venture into the Warlock branch. Chapter 243, Interrogation, 2. Don't you know the school's regulations? The Warlock branch is not a place that any student can access. Even if Cheeksia didn't frankly told him that, Uyang Huan Yu would still believe that they weren't the new student that Yun Chi was teaching. Even if that old man planned to get students, it's impossible for it to be these five people in front of him especially when the two of them were the new pharmacist students, Tang Nazi and Shen Chuan the other three were the top students of their own branch and have great innate skill at their own profession. It was impossible for them to become a student of the Warlock branch. The odds of even one of this people joining the Warlock branch was zero. We're really sorry for getting our little curiosity ahead of us. We promise not to do it next time. Cheek Seer's manner in admitting his mistake was unusually good. Tang Nazi and the others also obediently walked beside him before giving a bow up to their waist as they wait for Uyang Huan Yu to reprimand them. Their appearance just looked like five mischievous students that were caught in the act. Although Uyang Huan Yu hadn't talked to the students for a while, as the dean of the Holy Roland School, he was still concerned about the talents of each branch. Aside from that, Excluding that imp change from the five students in front of him, the rest of them were important sons of the five great clans. Just this identity was enough to cast aside the thought of them being a warlock as it's absolutely impossible for a member of those clans main branch to have someone set foot on the warlock's path. Tonight, I'll pretend that I didn't saw any of you, so go back to your quarters and rest. But the next time I found someone sneaking into the warlock branch, I will give a punishment in accordance with the rules. Uyang Huan Yu didn't intend to humiliate these five little guys, for even though they were still young, each of them was a genius of the Long Xuan Empire that was rarely seen in a lifetime. With them in the Holy Roland School, the average level of the Holy Roland students would be greatly improved. Thank you, Dean. Hurry up and go. Uyang Huan Yu urgently made them leave. He didn't want for such an interlude to be the cause of his failure to catch the little warlock. Yes. The five people, as if had received a great favor, 
immediately left in front of Uyang Huani U. Shen Yang Xia was rendered speechless because of this sudden change as Qi Xia dragged her to leave the warlock branch. But Qi Xia didn't intend to go back to the dormitory and instead brought Shen Yang Xia to the Holy Roland School's garden pavilion. Looking at the four juvenile in front of her, Shen Yang Xia's heart slightly sighed. Qi Xia crossed his arms at his chest. He looked calm even in this current predicament as he took a good look at the complex expression of Shen Yang Xiao, his sexy lips were pressed together before it hooked up into a curve, his body slightly leaned forward as he watched Shen Yang Xiao and said, you say, should we continue to call you Shen Chu, or should it be Xiao Yan now, or what other name? Qi Xia's words made Shen Yang Xiao froze in an instant. His words was telling her that he already knew her other identity. Xiao Yan. Tang Nazi's expression was also very strange, he looked at Shen Yang Xiao then at Qi Xia before his hand pulled Qi Xia away from Shen Yang Xiao and muttered, it's the middle of the night, you shouldn't scare him. Qi Xia shrugged and looked at Shen Yang Xiao and said, initially, we went to the archer branch and found out that the little guy named Xiao Yan was somewhat similar to you. At first, I wasn't too concerned about it. But it was quite interesting that while you were sick and had rest for the following days, not only Shen Chu of the pharmaceutical branch took an absent, even Xiao Yan was also absent for several days. I say, little Chu, do you still think it's all coincidental? Chapter 244, Interrogation, 3. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Qi Xia with astonishment. Xiao Yan and Shen Chu were both her disguised appearances after using some face-changing items. Apart from the height, the disguised characteristics have really nothing in common. Otherwise, she would not feel safe entering the archer branch. How on earth did these guys find them similar? She was certain that the sudden appearance of Qi Xia and others tonight was not a coincidence. When she left the dormitory, Tang Nazi was obviously asleep, but right now, he was here and neatly dressed. She's afraid these four guys had long guessed something was up and were just waiting for her to expose a flaw. And tonight, she had totally exposed herself. If I'm not mistaken, the warlock that Uyang Huani U has been tracking should also be you. Qi Xia smilingly looked at Shen Yang Xiao. His slender figure under the moonlight were exceptionally handsome but his smile seemed a little different at this moment. With every speculation Qi Xia had made, Yan Yu. Yang Xi and Tang Nazi's sight uniformly fell on Shen Yang Xiao's body. Obviously, these speculations had already existed in their minds for a long time. Particularly Tang Nazi, whose face held a very complex expression. It seemed that he wanted to stop Qi Xia from pressuring Shen Yang Xiao, but also wanted to understand the background of their good brother. Thus, he had a look of hesitance plastered on his face the whole time. Shen Yang Xiao looked at the four people and her heart held some hesitations. From the very beginning, these four people had been expressing great kindness towards her and tonight, if not for their timely appearance, she feared she would had already fallen into Uyang Huani U's hands. Furthermore, at the end of the previous class test, Qi Xia and Tang Nazi, even without knowing the situation, had lied without batting an eye helping her conceal her flaw in the test. Should she be honest with them? Shen Yang Xiao was still unsure, since these four guys were not average people after all. Behind them were the forces of the four great clans. In the future, when she inherits the Vermilion Bird Clan, would these people become her enemies or friends? No one could determine that. There was a still silence around the garden pavilion of the Holy Roland School. Every eye was stuck on Shen Yang Xiao's body, Everyone was waiting for her answer. Shen Yang Xiao bit her lips. If she used her curse technique on them, perhaps she could escape this dilemma. But, for some reason, her heart didn't want to do it to these four brats. While Shen Yang Xiao was internally struggling, Tang Nazi walked over to her side. Somewhat irritably scratching his head, he bent her over under his arm. Forget it. If little Ju doesn't want to talk don't force him. He naturally has a reason for not telling us anything. What do we want to achieve by asking so many questions? Would his identity affect our friendship? Since the start of school, he has a good relationship with Shen Yang Xiao. The whole time he'd been taking care of Shen Yang Xiao, he had also been clear about the fact that Shen Yang Xiao had always helped him deal with their pharmaceutical classes. Otherwise, 
he wouldn't have been able to stay in the purple class. So what if he's Xiaoyan? What about being the warlock? Don't forget that if it wasn't for him, we'd probably still have to climb up from the red class. Tang Nazi didn't like seeing Shen Yang Xiao under stress. After getting used to the lad's easy going expressions, this kind of depressed look was too hard on the eyes. This wasn't the first time that Tang Nazi embraced Shen Yang Xiao's shoulder, but it was the first time Shen Yang Xiao felt the warmth from Tang Nazi's embrace. Chapter 245 Partners 1. This damnable ghost, although he had an irritable personality, bad tempered, was smelly and his pharmaceutical talent was a terrible sight to endure, it was undeniable that he had always been there to protect her, even when there's no reason to do so, Shen Yang Xiao's nose somewhat reddened, she actually saw Tang Nazi as someone great, the real reason why they had a good relationship, even when he was annoying, was because of Tang Nazi's identity, so, when did she start being sincere towards Tang Nazi, Shen Yang Xiao's heart wasn't made of iron, so how could she not be moved? Chi Xia looked at Tang Nazi who was wholeheartedly defending Shen Yang Xiao, and chuckled while raising his head to look at the bright moon up in the sky. His young voice was clear with a hint of laziness and sounded more sharp as he replied, Do you think I was worried about his identity, when making such a move? Tang Nazi didn't open his mouth for a moment. Sometimes he don't understand what his childhood friend, Cheeksia was thinking, why do you think Kuyang Huani U was in front of the Warlock Branch's gate tonight? I'm afraid if we hadn't interfered, something might have happened tonight resulting in that roommate of yours to disappear by tomorrow. What is that supposed to mean? Tang Nazi asked, surprised. Cheeksia narrowed his eyes as he looked at Shen Yang Xiao. There wasn't a hint of smile on his face at this moment. How dreadful do you think the suppression of the Radiance Continent is towards the Warlock? We ourselves are very clear about it. Although the Holy Roland School retained their Warlock branch, have you ever seen a single student successfully enter? Why do you think he is willing to spend extra efforts to find the Warlock, and wait before the gate of the Warlock branch? Nosy. You're thinking too naively. I want little Ch here to be honest. Not because of my curiosity, but because I have to understand what he is going to face. I don't want him to encounter an accident while we're still in the dark. Because then, even if we had the intention to help, we wouldn't know how. Cheeksia's voice had a trace of coldness. At this moment, he seemed to have transformed from the lazy sly fox into the third young master of the Kylan clan feared by numerous merchants, each of his words have a full sense of oppression, stabbing straight through people's heart, Tang Nazi was speechless as he heard Cheeksia's words, he didn't think that Shen Yang Xiao's identity would be so complicated, but even more shocked was Shen Yang Xiao, she had always thought that Cheeksia was an unfathomable guy, although Cheeksia was still young, he was very deep, even though she was in regular contact with Cheeksia, she was still cautious towards him. She didn't expect that this guy would have actually considered so many things for her sake. Privately, he wanted to find out her identity, yet his only reason for doing so was to help her out. Shen Yang Xiao's heart shook. She looked at the other two people who had been quiet the entire time, Yan Yu and Yang Sai. She looked straight into their eyes and could see the same worried expression as Cheek Xia's. This group of animals. They were really anxious for her, but why? Shen Yang Xiao couldn't understand why they valued her so much. She didn't have anything that was worth using, so why were they showing so much concern for her? For you all to be thinking a lot for my sake, is it all worth it? Shen Yang Xiao's voice was somewhat husky. She was sure that Qi Xia hadn't lied and everything he'd said was true. Qi Xia raised his eyebrows. Are you an idiot? Don't tell me you've forgotten that we are a team. As a team we must show concern for each other. Isn't this the proper thing to do? Chapter 246 Partners, 2 As your partners, we are concerned about you. That's only natural, right? Shen Yang Xiao had a surprised face when she looked at the four guys around her, she hadn't really acknowledged them as her partners before. As a thief. She was always been alone that no matter how deep the danger she faced, she could only rely on herself. Shen Feng and Shen Seiyu were good to her because they share the same blood on their body. Yan Shi was good to her because she was the warlock's hope and because she was currently his only disciple. But them, partner? Shen Yang Xia whispered, 
The word was very familiar yet very strange at the same time. Once in her previous organization's training, together with her companions, they had to hold a knife day and night to kill each other. The word partner was a luxury for her. But now, she could try to accept it again, right? Her tangled little face revealed a trace of smile. At this moment, it was like Shen Yang Xiao had seen a light. She looked up at the four guys before her, slightly smiling, she said, Since you are asking me so sincerely, then I will be merciful and tell you everything. Shen Zhu is me, Xiao Yan is me, the warlock in the class test is also me, and my real identity is the seventh miss of the Vermilion Bird Clan, Shen Feng's granddaughter, Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao. The four people were extremely shocked with Shen Yang Xiao's abrupt confessions. And what let them more surprised was that, not only did Shen Yang Xiao confess her two other identities, even her final cards were displayed in front of them. Shen Yang Xiao isn't that the Vermilion Bird clan's waste Tang Nazi muttered but the next second he immediately closed his mouth. He looked at the smiling little guy in front of him, his face full of shocked. Shen Yang Xiao, the shame of the Vermilion Bird clan born mentally deficient, unable to cultivate magic and do qi, a waste and an idiot. In the entire Long Zhuan Empire, every single person knew of this matter and the four of them naturally had heard the name before. But no matter how they looked at it, they couldn't associate the rumored good-for-nothing idiot with this bright-eyed little fellow. Wait a minute. How could this be? Are you really Tang Nazi looked at Shen Yang Xiao in disbelief? Mother Earth. What about the idiot? This fellow was way better than ghosts. All right. Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows. Actually, I'd like to say Yan Yu, who had never opened his mouth, suddenly realized a more serious issue. What? Yang Zai asked. Yan Yu swept a glance at Shen Yang Xiao before looking at his three other partners, his brows creased up from hesitation. Don't you realize what the issue is from the words of little Xiao? Well, what's the problem? Tang Nazi was similarly confused as Yang Sai. Chi Xia chuckled and said, Little Xiao said that Shen Zhu is her, Xiao Yan is also her, the warlock as well. If I remember correctly, Xiao Yan's cultivation is Du Qi, and the warlock's cultivation is magic, magic, Du Qi dual cultivation. Tang Nazi loudly exclaimed as he stared wide eyed at Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao innocently blinked her eyes at him. She had confessed this point since the beginning. There's no mistaking it. Dual cultivation of magic and du qi. You are not a human. Wait that's not all. This kid's talent on the pharmaceutical is also sick tang as he took a few steps back. This fellow was not a human being. The talent of dual cultivation was rarely seen even in a millennium. This kid to possess such a talent was already strong enough. And yet she was still a pharmaceutical genius. Chapter 247 Partners, 3. Was she born to destroy other people's confidence? In his shock and excitement, Tang Nazi very wanted to give Shen Yang Xiao a bear hug to express his feelings at this moment. But his already opened arms hadn't reached Shen Yang Xiao's body yet when he was pulled back and carried away by Qi Xia. Profiteer, what do you want? Tang Nazi glared at Qi Xia, he was especially in a good mood. Qi Xia, this guy's strength was really in an abnormal level. But Shen Yang Xiao's strength was more aberrant than him now. Being able to study three different systems, this just completely crushed him. Qi Xia was rather having a headache as he looked at Tang Nazi. His other idle hand covered his face before he said, Allow me to remind you, little Xiao is the Vermilion Bird Clan's seventh miss. Right ah, it's seventh little sister? Tang Nazi's face twisted. He looked at the smiling Shen Yang Xiao. His jaw fell on the ground with a bang. I think Nazi's brain is the most worrying thing here. Yan Yu's unkind comment. Well, his IQ is a mishap. Yang Zai nodded his head in agreement. Tang Nazi swallowed his saliva. He outstretched his big paw and pointed his trembling finger at Shen Yang Xiao. Stammering, he said, Little Xiao you are a female. Shen Yang Xiao silently nodded. Ow! Tang Nazi cried loudly. He covered his face with his two hands as he turned his head away from embarrassment. Heaven of God. He slept in a room with a girl for a couple of months. Moreover, he could vaguely recall. He seemed to frequently hug a regular female disguised as a little demon into his bosom. Alas, the waste of a guy who's boasting having in touch with ten thousands of flowers. He didn't even notice the real gender of little Xiao. 
Yang Xia restrained the smile on his face as he rested his arm on Yan Yu's shoulder. He disdainfully looked down at his own companion. Maybe he did that on purpose. Yan Yu said with a nasty follow-up. I absolutely didn't do that intentionally. Tang Nazi jumped in front of Shen Yang Xiao. He really wanted to cry but had no tears. He was really not a pervert. He demanded for another opportunity to prove himself. Cough. I know. Shen Yang Xiao didn't know whether to laugh or cry looking at Tang Nazi's vivid expression. She didn't feel anything from Tang Nazi's previous intimate actions. She was only 13 years old and her body haven't developed yet. Her chest was still as good as a piece of flat land okay? Only when Tang Nazi heard the words of Shen Yang Xiao did he finally felt relieved. But these information that Shen Yang Xiao had hesitantly threw out to them was just too much that even Qi Xia needed a long time to fully digest these news and accept her so hot identity. Pharmacist, archer, warlock, godly thief, little Xiao, how many more surprises do you have in store for us? Cheeksia had restored his usual languid temperament and sat lazily on the chair of the garden pavilion. For the time being, there's none. The existence of the Vermilion Bird, her identity as the future head of the clan, and things about Xu and her seal. Shen Yang Xiao felt that it was better to keep it for the time being. Otherwise, she's worried that these four bastards wouldn't be able to stand the thrill. With you, little girl. The geniuses of the Holy Roland School were simply trash. Tang Nazi was giving a lot of efforts to adapt to Shen Yang Xiao's sudden change of gender. Of course, he didn't forget to take a glance at the school's most prestigious magician genius, Qi Xia. I am very curious as to why Ui Ang Huan Yu was at the gate of the Warlock branch. It seems to me that he's trying to catch you. Qi Xia rubbed his chin as he looked at Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao said, This is not the first time he tried to catch me, only the last time he did. My master helped me to block him. Chapter 248, Moonlight Necklace, 1. He also allowed me to be the only student in the Warlock branch at that time. But his presence tonight had really surprised me because he had promised my master that he will not disturb me for half a year. The sudden appearance of Uyang Huan Yu was not a good sign, this inscrutable dean was really planning to do something which was feared only he himself knew. Qi Xia looked at Shen Yang Xiao as he pondered over things. Uyang Huan Yu's appearance was obviously to catch her. This and his previous commitment was inconsistent. Warlocks are very ostracized in the Radiance continent. There are nearly thousands academies in the entire continent and the warlock branch of these schools have long been erased, apart from the Holy Roland school who had preserved its warlock branch, becoming the only warlock branch in the whole Radiance continent. Before, a lot of people thought that the decision of Uyang Huan Yu to keep the warlock branch was meaningless, even so Uyang Huan Yu had been insistent. I'm afraid that things will not be so simple. Hearing this, Shen Yang Xiao nodded her head. I also think that Uyang Huan Yu's attitude is very subtle, but there's no way I can't go to the Warlock branch. My master is still inside. If Uyang Huan Yu intend to keep on watching the Warlock branch, it would indeed be difficult to say that she wouldn't get caught one day. No matter what his purpose was, Shen Yang Xiao didn't want to expose her identity. You definitely must not go there again tonight. Uyang Huan Yu has been waiting for your appearance. He surely won't leave. Qi Xia warned. We can come back to look again tomorrow. Shen Yang Xiao was having a headache. She didn't appear in the Warlock branch for three days and she didn't know how anxious Yan Shi would be by now. Yan Yu, who had been listening to the conversation of Qi Xia and Shen Yang Xiao, thought for a moment then said, Tomorrow morning, Uyang Huan Yu will go to the priest branch to conduct some guidance. Why not take advantage of that time? Go to the warlock branch tomorrow and tell your master today's matter. Ask him if he has any idea. Little Xiao, your master is also a warlock. Yang Zai curiously asked. Shen Yang Xiao replied, Yes. I didn't expect for the Holy Roland School to actually have a warlock. The warlock who was able to survive from that kind of repression will not be simple. I believe your master would be able to help you solve this problem. Cheeksia touched his chin. When the warlocks were jointly suppressed by the armies of the whole continent, that time it could be said that they had suffered a total destruction. Every warlock with a little name was expelled from the various countries, those who were involved in the ban were completely eradicated by the army, 
and a handful of implicated warlocks had either left the Radiance continent or were hiding in the barren lands. Several countries, including Long Xi'an Empire couldn't be seen with any warlock anymore. They had never thought that a warlock would actually be hidden in the warlock branch of the Holy Roland School. Being able to escape the pursuit and expulsion and then lurk in here, it must be under the permission of Uyang Huani U himself. Over the years, Uyang Huani U had kept silent about the matter of the warlock branch. No one knew that there was still a living warlock. And for him to be, be able to get the protection of Uyang Huani U, Certainly he would not be an ordinary character. Although Cheeksia and the others were very curious about the warlock's identity, they were discreet enough to not inquire too much about the master of Shenyang Xiao. After suffering so much misery, warlock's defense against others could be frightening. They were not willing to make things difficult for Shenyang Xiao. Chapter 249, Moonlight Necklace, 2 Then I'll see my master tomorrow morning. Shen Yang Xiao had thought that tonight was certainly a hopeless night. Don't worry, if anything happens tomorrow morning, I'll find find a way to immediately inform you of Uyang Huan Yu's actions as the top student of the priest branch. Yan Yu was very sure that he would be at the side of Uyang Huan Yu tomorrow morning. Therefore, he would make sure that he wouldn't suddenly run to the warlock branch to catch people. The five of them had stayed for a long time to discuss the matter together. It was decided that Shen Yangxia would go to the warlock branch tomorrow morning to meet her master while Tang Nazi would be squatting outside the priest branch to wait for Yan Yu's news, and in case of any accident, he would immediately run to the warlock branch to notify Shen Yangxia. With the help of Yan Yun and Tang Nazi, Shen Yang Xiao finally felt a little relieved. The next morning, Shen Yang Xiao went to the warlock branch under the cover of Tang Nuzi. Anyway, Shen Zhi had been in a sick leave for a few days in the pharmaceutical branch, even if she was absent for one more day, no one would notice. This time, Xia had started to watch the surrounding even before they got near the warlock branch to know if there would be someone to ambush them. In the end, he didn't detect anything. It was very obvious that Uyang Huan Yu was greatly interested in Shen Yang Xiao, but because he's also aware of how sensitive were the existence of the warlocks in the Radiance Continent, he didn't let other people to be responsible of this matter. For the first time, Shen Yang Xiao entered the warlock branch during the day. The white buildings on both sides of the road were covered with vines and the warlock branch which hadn't been visited by people for a long time seemed to be more desolate in the daytime. Passing through the dilapidated warlock statue, Shen Yang Xiao quickly walked towards the warlock tower. Although it was the daytime, the warlock tower was still blooming with the light from the light congealing crystals. Yan Qi, as usual was sitting behind the desk buried in a pile of books. With careful attention, it could be seen that this seemingly normal old man's eyes were mingled with a hint of anxiety. The little girl has not appeared for three days. She didn't encounter something, right? Yan Chi looked down at the files on his hands. His thoughts however had long flew beyond the topmost clouds one. Even though the time he was teaching Shen Yang Xiao was still not considered long enough, he knew that the little girl really had the mind to painstakingly learn the rough road of the warlocks. Before, she'd always appeared in the warlock tower on time but recently, there was no trace of her. Yan Qi's heart couldn't help but feel somewhat troubled. He was afraid that Shen Yang Xiao might have encountered some accident. Just as when Yan Qi was being extra worried, an agile figure sprang into the quiet warlock tower. Master. Shen Yang Xiao cleverly stood in front of Yan Qi and her heart held a trace of apology. According to Yan Qi's temperament, she's afraid that every day, he had waited for her until late at night. You came. Yan Qi looked at his student who had disappeared for three days. His heart was finally relieved. I'm sorry, a few days ago I fell ill and was not able to come on time. I wanted to come last night, but I did not expect to actually see Dinu Yang at the gates of the Warlock branch. Shen Yang Xiao explained. Yan Qi was slightly startled for a moment. Shen Yang Xiao's last words really surprised him that his relaxed expression gradually turned into having a twisted eyebrows. Him, master, I think that Dinu Yang wants to see me, but I was worried to expose my identity so I thought of ways to slip away. Shen Yang Xiao didn't reveal the matter about Qi Xia and others. Although she trusted the four of them, she wasn't sure if Yan Qi would be happy to see her closely related to other professions. One, 
unimaginably far away. Chapter 250, Moonlight Necklace, 3. It could be said that almost everyone who took the warlock's path had a strange temperament, damn it. Yan Chi groaned as he stood up from the chair. His face was filled with fury as he looked outside the door. I knew he wouldn't give up so easily. To go so far as to do this, he must have really wanted to know your identity. Uyang Huani U, you old fox, don't get any idea against my student. He didn't fully believe Uyang Huani U's words from the beginning. No one knew him better than he did. That seemingly pure and holy dean of the Holy Roland School have a keen interest to the warlock who had suffered grievances. However, he would definitely not let Shen Yang Xiao's identity be exposed to him. Because once Uyang Huani U knew the identity of Shen Yang Xiao, he's afraid that there would be a lot of trouble in the future. Next time, when you see him, you must be extra careful. Yan Qi strictly told his only student. Uyang Huani U was a very dangerous person that even he couldn't fully grasp how to deal with him. I will certainly be careful, but against Uyang Huani U's strength, it would be difficult to fool him whenever I go to the warlock branch. Shen Yang Xiao was somewhat depressed. Her stealing skills were very strong, however this world was not the same as her previous world. Here, a magic existed that could help people easily perceive her presence. If it only was an ordinary student, she wouldn't worry too much. But the strength of Uyang Huani U was already at the great magister level. Even if she could turn invisible, there's still no way for her to escape his perceptual magic. Don't be afraid, I am also here, I naturally have a way to let you in and out freely. Yan Qi narrowed his eyes as he cursed Uyang Huani U a thousand of times inside his heart. He immediately opened the storage ring on his finger and from inside, he took out a crystal necklace coated in silver. This is a necklace made from the moonlight crystal. Regardless of how strong Uyang Huani U is, as long as your figure is not exposed in his line of vision, his magic will absolutely not be able to sense your existence. Yan Qi handed the moonlight crystal necklace to Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao took the necklace from his hands. The moment the necklace touched her palm, she instantly felt a warm temperature coming from it. It's a good thing. Xu said, seemingly aware of the origin of the necklace. Moonlight crystals are rare crystals from the Moon God Continent. Moon God Continent is the mainland of the elves and in the world of the elves. There are many mysterious powers. Moonlight Crystal contains the magic of the moon which allows their holder to produce a natural barrier. Even if that great magister, Uyang Huani U, would become a saint magister, it would still be absolutely impossible for him to perceive your existence with his magic. It seems that Yun Chi genuinely cares for you. I, myself hadn't seen a lot of Moonlight Crystals. I'm afraid that at present, in this whole Radiance Continent, there's only two or three pieces of moonlight crystals that can be found. Didn't those boys said that it wouldn't be easy for a warlock to escape the expulsion? Presumably, Yan Qi's success in escaping was all thanks to this moonlight crystal necklace. There were only few things in this world that could enter Xu's eyes and the moonlight crystal was one of them. Shen Yang Xiao held the necklace in her hand, because of such generosity of Yan Qi. Her heart was moved unceasingly. Just by listening to Xu's description, she could already guess how precious this necklace was. This necklace was likely what made Yan Qi successfully escape the hunt of the warlocks and maintained his life. And yet, he was giving it to her now. 